Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. When I was preparing for this message, I read this quote and I wanted to share it with you. Every gun that is made, every warship that is launched, every rocket that is fired is in a final sense a theft from those who are hungry and are not fed and for those who are out in the cold and are not housed. Amen? Do you know who said that? Do you, know, do you know who said that? It was the Supreme Allied Commander at D-Day, President Dwight D. Eisenhower, because he knew the trade-off that all the money we pour into munitions and the weapons of war are literally taken out of the mouths of those who are hungry and over the heads of those who are not housed. Martin Luther King Jr. spoke passionately for butter over bullets in the last years of his life, receiving more criticism from friends and foes alike than he had in the civil rights heyday when he talked about how all that we were doing every day in Vietnam the cost of that could so much more create the great society we long for at home. When Richard Nixon was uh, elected in 1968, in the following January of his inauguration, he took the oath of office, raised his right hand and put his left hand on his family Bible. But he had asked that the family Bible be opened to Isaiah chapter 2. The very passage that you heard read today as he began his presidency. That didn't quite fit with how four years later he ordered the Christmas bombing of Hanoi with the accompanying deaths of so many hundreds if not thousands of men, women, and children. But that's because Isaiah's vision has to be more than words on a printed page, amen? It has to be the word that is seen, amen? It has to be more than words spoken in an Advent sermon.